Hi guys, I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you how I did this Sweet Treats Manny. And this design actually came from, uh, I think you say her name, Cassie P here on YouTube and on Instagram. I will link her YouTube and her Instagram down below so you guys can go and check it out. And Jellulicious actually um, also did a Manny like this, kind of copying off of what Cassie did. And I just thought it was super duper cute when I saw it and just had to do one for myself. So the base for this Manny is four like bleached neon shades from China Glaze. The pink is called Shocking Pink. The blue is UV Meant to Be. The yellow is Whip It Good. And the yellow is actually from the new Light Brights collection, the Summer 2016 collection. And the purple is Sweet Talk to Me. And I'm going to be stamping the um, background image, the white swirly parts, with this plate from Ubersheet Beauty. And this is Ubersheet Plate 6 dash, what is that, 01, I believe. And I'm going to be using this image right here. And for the background image as well, I'm going to be using Munir Nunez number 1 in white. I'm using my new Born Pretty Store Clear Jelly Stamper, and as you can see, this is the one with the more transparent um, holder, because I think it'll be a little bit easier for you guys to see, because it won't, I feel like it won't do that tunnel vision effect as bad, it won't get as dark in there, so hopefully you guys will be able to see it better when I use this one. And I'm also using my Born Pretty Store Scraper. So I'm just going to get started and stamp that background image on my pointer finger here, because I've already pretty much done the rest. And sometimes this image, you got to scrape it a couple different ways, but I think that looks good. And there's the image. And I'm going to try to line it up to where the little swirl part is basically at the bottom part of my nail. Let's see here. Just like that. And hopefully it's sticking. And that's pretty good. We can work with it. So there is the first step of the Manny. So let me go ahead and clean this up a little bit and top coat and I'll meet you guys right back to show you how I make the decals. Okay, so for this next part, for the decal making, I am using my Uber Mat. And as you can see here, I've got some clear top coat down on the little nails just to put my stamped images on and I've seen some girls actually do this without putting top coat down first but I never have any luck with getting it to stick at that point so I always put a top out top coat down first but that's up to you and the top coat I have down is INM out the door um, I've heard that sesh V doesn't really work very well but I've never personally tested it so it's up to you but I'm gonna start by using uh, Bundle Monster Plate BMXL29 and I'm going to be using this image right here that has the different um, ice creams. I'm going to be using this cone right here in particular, this um, like ice cream on a stick in particular, and this uh, swirly cone. And then I'm also going to stamp this whole image of the donuts. I'm using Munadunyas number 57 taupe for this part. And it's just a beautiful uh, like caramelly color and I'm still using my clear jelly stamper you can use any stamper you want for this you don't have to use a clear one I just am to help me place it on the um, the clear marks so basically I'm not separating it out in a uh, in any particular way I just stamp the whole image making sure to get those three in the clear part So there's my image. So there's my image. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp it down on these little clear parts here. And I'm going to do my best to get all three of those in particular ice creams within the nail. So there's that one. And I'll get you guys a little bit closer up when it comes time to, um, to decorate them, okay? 
And then I'm just going to do the same thing with the donut image here. And I'm using the same taupe color for all the different images. There is my donut image, stamps beautifully. Same as before, I'm just going to stamp this in the little finger there. And this part doesn't really matter because they're all the ones in the middle are whole donuts. There's the image. And I'm going to switch plates. I'm going to do that same thing one more time. This time I'm using Bundle Monster XL30. And I'm using this really cute little cupcake image here. And I used quite a few of the cupcakes. So I'm just going to grab the entire image and stamp it in the clear part as well. Now when I did this um, for the rest of my nails, I stamped each one of these images multiple times because I needed, you know, two to three images per nail. So I stamped each one, I think, three times just to make sure I had enough. There are my cupcakes, and I'm going to go ahead and stamp that up on this top one. And you guys can't see it, but... And that one actually didn't come out very well. So I'm going to do it one more time and then I will get you guys a little bit closer up and I'll meet you back to color these in. Okay, so here are the images stamped on my Uber mat and I've got it turned around and zoomed in super close so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to be using my ring palette from BornPrettyStore.com to help me hold the polishes as I fill in my decals. And to fill them in, I'm using my Pure Color 7 Nail Art tool, which is actually a water marble tool, but it's just like a teeny tiny little dotting tool as you can see, and it's super duper small to help me fill in these teeny tiny little areas here. And the polishes I'm using to fill it in, the pink that I've already got on my little palette is number 70 Barbie. Oh, let me hold it like this. You guys can actually see it. Sorry guys, my hands are blocking the light. There you go. This is Minardunas Barbie. The purple is, what is this, Be A Berry Smoothie, and this is the Color Alike Be Loves Plates um, stamping polish, so Be A Berry, Berry Smoothie. The yellow is Be A Sunshine, and the blue is Be A Blue Ocean. So I'm just going to start with the pink, like I said, because I've already got that out on my little palette. And I'm just going to show you briefly um, what I did because, you know, a lot of it is common sense. So I'm going to start with the cupcakes. Let me go ahead and move this over a little bit so you guys can see. I'm just going to start filling in these little cupcakes right here. And I just get my dotting tool, you know, loaded up with polish and start filling in parts I think will be cute. So I think this cherry should be pink. And I think this icing should be pink. And the reason why I like using stamping polishes to fill in my decals is because I know it's going to be opaque. I don't have to, you know, paint it with the color and then paint white behind it. And it just, I know that it'll be opaque on any color, basically. Um, oh, I've got a piece of cat hair in that one. I guess I'm not using that one. Whoops. So I'm just going to do this one pink and so on and so forth. And then I would just do the same thing with the blue, the purple, the yellow. And basically just keep going until they're all completely filled in. So now I've got the purple on my palette. And the um, Below's Plates polishes are a little bit thicker. So it's a little bit harder. you got to work a little quicker. But it's still possible. So I'm going to fill this icing in. like so. Um, I am going to switch over to the donuts really quick because I want you guys to see. Some of them have sprinkles. Um, where is it? Um, oh, this one right here has little teeny sprinkles in it and I did fill the sprinkles in in some of the donuts. I don't know if you guys can see right there on my nail. See that donut has little sprinkles in it and I actually took the time to fill each one of those little guys in and I think it came out super duper cute. So I just put a teeny tiny little drop of paint on my dotting tool and just dotted it in. Doot, just one little dot and because of the outline 
of the sprinkles, it kind of gives the illusion that they're actually filled in when <laughs> I probably missed the mark completely, but you can tell what they are. And that's about it. So I don't think you guys want to sit here and watch me fill in every single one of these. So I'm going to go ahead and finish filling these in, let them dry, cut them to size, and I'll meet you right back. Okay, so I've gotten all my decals cut up and I just stuck it on my stamper head here just to kind of, because it's slightly sticky, it holds them and I'm not blowing them all over the place by accident. And as you can see, I've already applied the um, ice cream cone on my fingernail only because when I was picking it up, I accidentally tore it a little bit and this was my favorite one. I really wanted to use it, so I just went ahead and applied that off camera just so I could salvage it. And then I think I'm going to put um, just one more thing maybe two, I'm not sure, but I definitely want to use this really cute little donut here with the sprinkles on it. So I'm just using my tweezers because these things are so, so tiny. And I'm going to put it, I think I'll stick it right up here. And then I'm just going to take my top coat and I'm wiping 90% of the top coat off of the brush. I'm just going to hold it just like that with my other finger. Put a little bit of top coat down underneath and just touch it down and that's basically all you have to do and it'll stick it. These are so tiny I don't even bother to lift up the other side unless it's um, like really lifting on one part. But I think I'm going to put one more on this finger, maybe one of the cupcakes. Let's go with this cute little one with the heart I think. Let's see if it'll fit how it'll look. Let's see if I should put that on the tip or maybe just not put anything else. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to not put anything else on there. I think one more will just be too much trying to fill up that nail. But basically that's all I did. And then I took my um, Wet n Wild Matte Top Coat and just top coated all of the nails. Uh, I basically just copied pretty much everything that... Um, Cassie, Casey, whatever her name is, basically just copied what she had done. I did use some different images because I did not have the plates that she has. Um, her images are a teeny bit bigger than mine are. That's why I put more on each nail. But other than that, I pretty much did everything exactly the same. So I think it's super cute. I love the design. Uh, I think hers is a little cuter, but I still really like it and I'm glad that I did it. Don't forget to check out the links down below to go see her video and to see um, exactly what she did, what she used, and how she did her mani. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe, and of course, come back to see me next time. Bye!